Once you've downloaded your ebook from the iTunes Store, tap the application icon to launch your book. You'll end up on the home page, and to start reading, tap Read the Book. The application is very easy to use. Once you've finished reading a page, tap or swipe the right hand section of the screen. This will bring up the next page. To go back to your previous page, tap or swipe the left hand side of the screen. You can also turn the device horizontally to read in landscape mode. Again, to turn the page forward, tap or swipe the right hand side of the screen. To go back to your previous page, just tap or swipe the left hand side. You can access the main menu by tapping the centre of the screen from any point within the book. There are four main sections that can be accessed from the navigational menu. The first of these is a button that links you back to your home page. Then there are also areas for bookmarks, search and settings. Also within the main navigational menu, you can access the table of contents of the book or a section on help. From the home page, you can access other parts of the application. If you tap about the author, you'll be able to read a short biography and see some pictures of the author of the book. Within some of the books, there is a section called Book Extras. In here, you'll find additional audio or video content that has been made specially for this book. Tapping on Book Extras brings up a sub-menu. By tapping on Video, you'll see a video of Gone Tomorrow. Once you've finished your video, click Done to return to the menu and then back to the home page. You can also read about other books that the author of this book has written. To do so, tap the section called Other Books. Here you'll see a list of other titles written by that author and by tapping on a title you can read a short summary of that book. Finally, if you want to tell a friend about the book you're reading, tap the Tell a Friend button. At this stage you'll be asked whether you want to leave this application and launch email to email your friend. At any time when you're reading your book, you can add a bookmark or a note. To do so, first of all, launch the menu and then tap bookmarks. A page will launch that gives you the opportunity to add a new bookmark or delete any previously made ones. To add a new bookmark, click add or delete. Then click add bookmark, type in your title, and then add your description below. Once you've finished your title and your description, tap Save. From within the bookmark menu, you can return to the page that you added the bookmark from by clicking the blue arrow. You can search the text by chapter for particular items such as names or places. To search a chapter, bring up the main menu and then tap search. Tap here to enter your search term and then use the keyboard below to enter the word you're looking for. Once you've entered your word, hit the blue search button and your results will be shown highlighted in the text in red. When you want to clear your search, just shake your device. The fourth area of the menu you can access is an area called Settings. And from here you can change various settings to personalise your reading experience. To access the Settings area, bring up the menu and then tap Settings. From the Settings menu, you can personalise your font style, colour and size. Tap Text Colour to choose the colour of the text you'd like to read with. You can see the setting you've chosen in the preview box at the top of the page. To change the background colour of your screen, 
tap background color and then select the color you wish to choose. Again, you can see the settings you've chosen at the top of the screen. You can also set your own font size by moving the slider up and down and click type font to choose your font. Once you're happy with your selection, tap continue read to return to the book.